All right, in this section, I'm going to continue to, you know, introduce, you know, hybrid coverage. And again, we're going to get a good look at hybrid coverage and real-time action. Uh, so, again, one of the popular routes or one of the main routes people have trouble with is crossing routes and specifically in this bunch that information. So, again, we're going to take a quick look at that here. So... What I would do versus it is, you saw my flats were on 20. I know most people will recommend um, having your flats on having your flats on 25 or 30. Uh, but the benefits of using something like hybrid coverage is, you know, you can basically bracket, you know, Y. Again, Y is going to be one of the main receivers here. So again, he can kind of run a motion. You know, if they decide to motion him over on a post, uh, he'll be cross man. And, you know, anytime he runs, you know, this crossing route, again, he's basically going to be double team now. And again, we want to basically look to double team, you know, their best routes and kind of essentially use bracket coverage on them. So, again, you got to think, okay, we started off in a basic cover three, and then we got to ask ourselves, you know, what is the weakness of cover three? And again, the weakness of, you know, a stock cover three is going to be these kind of deep crossing routes and these corner routes. So, again, uh, there's many benefits here. And, the benefits over just double mapling is, you know, now Y is going to be married when he runs a corner route, when he runs a deep crosser, uh, when he he's going to be cross man on a motion over pulse. So there's again three benefits here, you know, to utilizing, um, to utilizing you know high coverage, you know, manning someone up and kind of beneficiary. Oh, and, and it's more beneficial than double maple a lot of times because again you're not going to completely give up the middle of the field now. Because for a double maple, a lot of people will start just putting a million hitches over in the middle of the field uh, and kind of use like a, a motion over post. And again, uh, this man up will defend like, you know, why in a hitch, why in a motion over post. So again, a lot of great benefits to it. And unfortunately, even with, you know, zone drops on deep, if you roll out, sometimes they can still get over the zone drop. So again, that's kind of another benefit of having, you know, their best receiver, you know, manned up and kind of bracketed. So. And we're going to run PA boot over here. See, again, um, we don't have our flat on 25 or 30. Um, so, so now we can kind of play like underneath, underneath routes a lot better. And we're still going to be able to guard this deep crosser. You know, if this guy was only manned up, uh, he's going to win. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get wide open uh, and say we didn't have our zone drops on you know say that this is just a regular purple again this crossing route is gonna win versus straight up man coverage uh, but when when we have our flats on 20 as well uh, again we're we're still gonna be able to kind of play these underneath routes better because again 20 is gonna be better than 25 or 30 for these you know intermediate you know corner routes and we're still gonna be able to play this deep crossing route. So again, he's basically, their best receiver is basically going to be double teamed. And now also, uh, they're not going to be able to run these corner routes in between, uh, run these corner routes in between the, in between the zone drops. So again, if you had like your zone drops on 25 or 30, you know, a short corner route like this would get wide open. Uh, but since... But since we have Y man up instead, again, now the corner route's not going to really be open either. So look at that. Again, it's going to be a really, it's going to be a really tricky throw. It's going to be a really congested throw. So again, that's kind of the benefits of, you know, utilizing, you know, hybrid coverage. Again, it's, we're basically bracketing, you know, their best receiver. Um, we're still utilizing our, our zones to, you know, help, to help the man. But again, it, it's basically bracket coverage now. And also show you another benefit as well. So if someone is doing like a motion over post, you know, I, I could always, you know, I'll, I'll touch this guy uh, just so he doesn't like move in. Uh, Cause sometimes when you motion over Y, the slot will kind of move in and I'll, I'll, t I'll just touch this guy. So he's kind of cross man from a farther distance. I'll show you guys what I mean here. So again, a lot of people will take, you know, a wide receiver like this and motion him over. So what you can do is kind of touch that left slot 
And now he's going to be cross mint onto that receiver. So now it's going to be really tough to get that wide receiver motion uh, open on a motion over. And I really like cross manning on motion over because, you know, anytime when someone's motioning over, think what the route usually is. Again, it's usually going to be a motion over slant or a motion over crosser. So, again, that will be a good time to start utilizing, you know, man ups, uh, anticipating a motion over and having a man up from the start. That is another, you know, great benefit of utilizing and implementing hybrid coverage in your game.